I appreciate you, man. You're awesome. Thank you. I'm trying to And I'm a big fan of yours, too. Don't cry. If you cry, I'm going to chop you. Okay, I'm going to And it will suck. Yes, I understand. I know. Even if I like you, it sucks. So, just so you know, there's no getting out of that one. All right. You know, you know who I am like, like you are? You know who my hero was? Arn Anderson. Really? Yeah. The first time I met Arn Anderson was in Chicago at uh, uh, Rosemont. Ro Rosemont. I was 12 years old. I was a huge fan of the Four Horsemen. Huge fan. I got in trouble for talking shit like Rick and <laughs> all that stuff. So I cut grass, made it up my, because tickets in South Carolina at Columbia Township were ten dollars for wrestling tickets to get in. I think fifteen dollars might have been floor seats, but it was ten dollars to get in. So I cut grass and made ten bucks. I wasn't getting a popcorn. I wasn't getting a fucking drink. I wasn't getting any merch. I just wanted to get in the door and see it. The fucking four horsemen in town. Ticket prices doubled. So I couldn't get in. And I rode my bicycle uh. like eleven miles there by myself. So all I could do was stand out back on my fucking huffy bicycle at six foot two, 220 pounds at 12. <laughs> back there. And I remember Arn Anderson got out of a fucking, uh, I think he was in a town car, you know, fucking polo shirt, rope chain, rose colored glasses, big thick neck, mean mugging the fuck out of everybody. And I went back to school saying, oh my God, Arn Anderson, the enforcer, he's the meanest motherfucker I've ever seen. Like right away, just seeing him get out of the car to go into the building, I became an Arn Anderson fan.